Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. So to continue with the networking devices, the next device in the list is router. Router is a physical internet working device that connects two or more networks and it works on the third layer of the OSI model. Third layer is what? It is the network layer. So we say it is a layer 3 device. Router is a layer 3 device. It uses the IP address of the computer. It is an intelligent device as it can decide the best route to forward the packets from the source to the destination. How it is going to do? It is maintaining a routing table. And with the help of the routing table, it will decide the path of the packet. And also, it has to check every time the destination address of the packet and compare with the entries of the routing table. So these three points I shall be explaining you with it. That routing tables are of two types. One is static, another is dynamic. One more point you can add here is it, it connects LAN to WAN and it connects LAN to LAN, WAN. Recall the previous diagram for the switch. So what is that you have seen? You had taken one switch, fine. And you made one LAN by connecting different devices to this switch. Say if these PCs want to connect with the PCs that are there in the internet, in the outside world, then you need to have a device called as router. The interface of this router is going towards this LAN. The other interface of the router is the outside world. So let me just write down here internet. Fine. So now it is possible. We can say this is a WAN and this is a LAN. Okay, here you have WAN and here you have LAN. It is possible for all these systems that are there in the LAN to communicate with the WAN. So that this is the router that is forwarding the packet. The packet goes to the router. Okay, the packet starts going from this LAN. It goes to this interface of this router and the router will forward the packet to the system which is there or with the destination uh, host that is there in the internet. That's why we say here it connects LAN to WAN. It connects LAN to LAN. You have one LAN here and uh, this is one LAN. Okay, LAN 1 and this is another LAN, LAN 2. Now, if one of the machine of LAN 1 wants to connect with a machine of LAN 2, then you can make use of the router. Because this particular machines, these PCs which are there in each of the LAN are having an IP address belonging to different networks. So let us take for example, this LAN address, the network address for this LAN is 20.0.0.0. The subnet mask will be definitely what? 255.0.0.0. Uh, assume that one of the PCs 20.0.0.8 one wants to communicate with one PC that is present in the other LAN and let us give the network address for the other LAN also. So what I can do is I will give a different network address 192.168.3.0 is the LAN network address and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So now you can see that both the uh, system both the uh, both the lands have got what both the networks have got a different address so here you can see 20.0.0.0 which is a class a address here you can see 192.168.3.0 which is a class c address now if a pc 20.0.0.8 wants to communicate with what uh, 192 one of the pcs let us assume its ip address is 192.168.3.6 like this so if this pc wants to communicate with this definitely what will happen is the packet travels from this lan and it reaches this interface now we can give some number to this interface here so let me give this is interface 1 and this is interface 2 now to make this communication happen even the interfaces that are there at the router should get an ip address for this interface you can give any address belonging to this network only so let me give 20.0.0.1 and here this interface you have to give an uh, IP address belonging to this network only. So let me give 192.168.3.15 anything you can give but it should be what belonging to this address belonging to an address of this network only. So this PC wants to communicate fine with whom with this the packet starts from this network it goes to this interface and the router will forward the packet to the other end of it the other end is what the interface 192.168.3.2 so this interface will send the packet to this LAN finally from this LAN it reaches the destination host so this way the router is helping what to connect these two networks now you can uh, clearly understand these sentences 
it maintains a routing table i'll give you an example for the routing table also it examines the destination address of a given packet header and compare with the entries of the routing table refer its routing table before forwarding the packet so for example i'll tell you in a very simple words present what i am doing is i am just using two networks in the routing table so the router is maintaining one column as the destination network fine and the other column as the interface now what is that you are seeing here is in this the route this is router r1 so i can write down the heading also for this table routing table for r1 fine how many networks are connected to the router two networks only so it will have two entries one is what uh, destination network what is the destination network this one the network address 20.0.0.0 and the interface this interface okay this interface is connected to this 20.0.0 so it will maintain like this the interface is what now i'll just write the number here you can see the interface is one fine the interface is one now if you look the other entry in the routing table will be having information about the other network that is there what is the other network address the other network address is 192 dot 192 dot 168 dot 3.0 okay 3 dot 0 and what is the interface look here this is the interface so the interface number is 2 here so this way the router is maintaining the routing table and whenever it receives a packet with the destination address it can decide that it has to place on this interface in this particular example you have seen that the network address the destination network address was what 192.168.3.6 so when it takes the packet belonging to this destination host it always refer its routing table and it will see that okay this 192.168.3.6 belongs to this address okay this belong to this network and the interface is 2 so it will place the packet on the interface 2 and the packet goes to the goes to that network now in this case i have just taken two networks suppose if there are two more networks also connected let us take that there is one more network here LAN 3, one more here, LAN 4. So, those entries can also get included here. Whatever IP address you want to give for the network address and the interface number will be what? Definitely here one is 3 and one is 4. So, in general, I will just write down this is network 3 and this is network 4. You can give the IP address and the subnet mask. So, network 3 is what? The interface 3 and network 4 is what? The interface four so now we have what four entries in the routing table because each of the interface is connected to one one network and there are four networks in this particular uh, scenario you can see that there are four entries here in this routing table so that this is what i wanted to tell you that this sentence it decides it examines the destination address of the given packet header and compare with the entries of its routing table hope you have understood this point now and already i said definitely it maintains a routing table to decide the path of the packet so one more point is pending here routing tables are of two types one is static and another is dynamic the difference i'll just tell you very briefly now a static <coughs> routing table has got manually inserted all the entries into the table okay manually inserted by the system administrator into the routing table and also there is only one path to reach the destination Whereas, if you take the dynamic routing table, it is a technique in which a router only it learns by itself the routing information without an administrator's help and it will add the best route to the routing table and it will have what best route to the routing table and moreover, it has got alternate routing path also if one of the primary routing path goes okay i'll just extend here if one of the primary routing path goes down it can select any alternate path in order to forward the packet whenever it sees that an alternative path which is better than the existing path is there in the routing table it replaces the existing route with the new route 
So the popular companies that develops routers are Cisco, 3Com, HP, Juniper, Nortel, etc. So this is all about the networking device called as router, which is a layer 3 device. So hope you find this session useful. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.